The new plan is to record these in the evening in order to publish on time in the morning to avoid pesky work interference. Wish me luck. There's a guy wants to talk to you. Hey everybody, I am Jerry Williams, aka Greater Sapien. Thank you for spending your time with me today. Today's comment is from my 100% failure video featuring D Marble. That video is getting a lot of comments lately, so I thought I should give them some uh, some attention. Daryl's defenders are really coming out in droves, so if you want to see how poorly they defend their positions, go check out the comment page on that video. This comment from Joshua Stagnito is a comment I see a lot, so I felt I should address it once again. That the only pictures of the globe Earth are created by artists working for NASA. They are all strips of images made by satellites and are stitched together by artists. First of all, I think it's funny that he's acknowledging the existence of satellites, which are in orbit of the planet. That means they are going around the entire planet. Secondly, what this person and so many others are doing is taking what NASA has said about this image, the Blue Marble 2002 image, and claiming they were talking about all images before and after this was made. This construct was made for a very specific purpose, to be able to turn the image around in view from different angles, uh, to be able to turn on and off cloud formations and just to see the land, and to be able to zoom in and view sections in high detail. That can only be achieved through compositing images. People like to quote the artists as saying that it had to be done through composites because there is no way of capturing the whole Earth at once. And at the time this data was collected, from the late 90s to 2002, this was true. But in the last 10 years, we've put many a satellite into deep enough space to capture the whole Earth. A NASA employee talking about what could be done in 2002 is not talking about what can be done in 2019. Lastly, that very NASA artist that people quote about not being able to take photos of the entire Earth in 2002 is quoted as saying that the last time we were able to take photos of the full Earth was in 1972, which is this picture here that I showed in my video. Now, for those of you who still claim that all of the images of the Earth are made by artist composites or CGI and made by NASA, uh, this is the Earth from right before I edited this video. And here's 10 minutes earlier and earlier. This is from the Hemawari 8 satellite over Japan using the same three color sensor process used by your digital camera. Not CGI, not strips of satellite imagery wrapped around a 3D model, and it's not NASA. Okay, let's get to the roundup. Uh, this next type of comment is becoming more and more frequent in these videos where a globe denier has so obviously been bodied for their silly claims. Now, I'm not going to give it the honor of being read out loud, though, so uh, take a look at it. I don't know if this person thinks I hate Dean Marble, but I don't hate the young brother. I just feel for someone who feels this world is so threatening to him. And anyone who thinks that their limited media experience uh, with black people is proof that black people hate each other, well obviously doesn't know any black people. But what do you expect from a cowardly bigot? Uh, this person says my explanation for why the race of a character matters in a film is because people are racist, which is really interesting how people hear things that they want to hear. Uh, actually, what I was saying was that race matters not because people are racist, but because the audience understands that there are cultural differences and societal differences that are informed by race. Artificial label that it is. You don't have to be a racist to understand how such things affect others. Do I believe that the flat earth movement will exist in a generation? Well, there will still be some, but most will have quietly gone on to tilt at some other windmill, uh, even if they still hold on to the view. Those that do hold on, however, will use the fact that our technology has gotten good enough that we could fake things pretty well in order to say that every new bit of evidence is fake. It's going to be the curse of progress. The great technology that will allow us to stream live from a lunar mission will also make high-quality real-time CGI better. So they'll claim it's fake. Have I seen the Joker trailer? Yes, and I thought it was a pretty interesting take. Now, no, I don't think a Joker origin story is needed, and I think an Elseworlds type origin, this kind of alternate universe type of thing, which will this will ultimately be, might be damaging for the brand if it confuses the audience. Um, 
it's not how I envisioned the Joker, but then again, neither was Heath Ledger's version, and that ended up being brilliant. So let's hope it's a solid film. Which movie do I think was better? Black Klansman was a better film, but I honestly did enjoy Black Panther more because of the nerd that I am. But also as a child of the 70s, I grew up around former Black Panthers, young black activists, and a creeping Klan presence. Black Klansman was solid. All right. Uh, I want to give a quick shout out to all my patrons. You can see this delightful group of people right here. And thank you all for your time. It's greatly appreciated. Now, try to learn something about the world that you didn't know yesterday. Try to help someone else do the same and enjoy yourself doing it. Take care. Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory.